A jailer lines up 10 prisoners facing one direction in the increasing height order. He then randomly places either red hat or blue hat on each prisoner's head. A prisoner can see the color of hats of all the prisoners in front of him, but he cannot see his own hat nor hats of the prisoners standing behind him. Starting from the last prisoner in the line, the jailer is going to ask the prisoner the color of his own hat. If he answers correctly, he is saved and he can leave the jail. But if he gives a wrong answer, then he will be executed. His answer must either be red or blue. No other keywords are allowed in the answer. Also, any indication like whistling or staying silent will lead to the execution of all the prisoners. The same procedure will be repeated for all the prisoners. The jailer, being a logical and rational person, realizes there is no way that the last prisoner can answer his own hat color correctly with 100% surety. So he announces that if all the remaining 9 prisoners answer their own hat color correctly, the last prisoner will also be released along with them, even if he answers incorrectly. Before being lined up, the prisoners are allowed to discuss a strategy to develop a plan for their survival. What would be their strategy to make sure that all of them survive? The prisoners will come up with a strategical rule that if the last prisoner sees an even number of red hats in front of him, then he calls out red. And for the odd number of red hats, he calls out blue. This is the message that's passed to all the prisoners in front of him for further calculation. We'll quickly see two cases to generalize the calculation formula. Case 1, where prisoner 10 sees even number of red hats, so he calls out red. Prisoner 9 also sees even number of red hats in front, which makes him conclude that he himself is not wearing a red hat. So he can confidently call out blue. Case 2. Prisoner 10 sees even red count, so he calls out red. But prisoner 9 sees an odd number of red hats, which is not equal to the parity of the message that came from the prisoner behind him and he calls out red. So the generic formula is, if the parity of message from behind is equal to the parity of red hat count in front, then prisoner is wearing a blue hat. And if the parities are not equal, he is wearing a red hat. Let's quickly solve it for all the prisoners. Prisoner 10 sees even red count so he calls out red and hence the parity of message is even. Prisoner 9 also sees even count of red hats in front of him which is equal to the parity of the message. Prisoner 9 calls out blue. Prisoner 8 sees odd count of red hats which doesn't match with the message so with the help of formula he calls out red. For prisoner 7 the calculated message from behind is message minus actual red hat calls so far. So even minus 1 gives odd parity. And that's not equal to the parity of red hat count that he sees in front. So he calls out red. For prisoner 6, the calculated message is message minus actual red hat calls so far. Even minus 2 gives even parity, which is equal to the parity of red hat count he sees in front. So he calls out blue. Prisoner 5 and 4 calculates exactly the same way as that of prisoner 6. So they both call out blue. Prisoner 3 has calculated message of even parity, but he sees odd parity in front. As per formula, he calls out red. For prisoner 2, 
the calculated message is even minus 3 that gives odd parity, which is equal to the parity that he sees in front. So he calls out blue. Finally, prisoner 1 has a message of odd parity. He sees 0 red hats in front of him and 0 is an even parity number. Since these two values don't match, he calls out red. So with this strategy, they can make sure at least 9 of them answer correctly and they all will be allowed to leave the jail. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video and if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and stay updated with new logic every week. Till then, stay happy, stay cool and stay logical.